So Marcus, a, a very nice early Christmas present for you, a, a new long-term contract. Talk us through what the, the conversations were between you and the club around it. Obviously, the season started very well for the team and for me, and obviously I, I just had one thought, this is the best place for me to improve myself and make me a better player. So obviously when that came around that they wanted to extend my contract, I was very happy to do so because I feel that this is the best place for me at the moment. And from, from the other side, what, what did the club say to you about where they see you going as a player? Obviously, they see me going to the very top. Obviously, I need to keep doing what I'm doing and uh, improve, keep improving. But obviously, as, as I said, I see this club with the the staff and the managers who work, that we have here now that I can go to the top. And we're we're in the place where it all started for you the, here mm -hmm. at Brentford, the, the B team office. Just you know, when you walked in the door that that first day, did you ever see it, it coming this way? Obviously, it's something you can dream of when you're coming in and you sign this long. You think of like you're gonna sign this long-term deal, so obviously if it brings a happy memories from this place as well, that the, all the hard work paid off and now where you are and now just keep going. And the, the length of the deal as well, five and a half years, that, that shows how much you're in the long term thinking of the club. Yes, exactly, that's what it taken to me as well because they know what player I'm like and they're obviously giving me the, the five and a half year deal which feels very good and obviously they trust me and I trust them to with my improvement on, on the pitch. That, that's the long term. In the short term, the, the club trusted you to put you up front last night for, for a historic night in the, in the Carabao Cup. Yeah, that's uh, exactly. The manager trusts me and, uh, and he likes me as a player, which is a massive thing, obviously, when the manager trusts you and uh, to go out and perform. And obviously, I haven't played uh, that many 90 minutes in this season, but obviously, whenever I come on, I try and do my best and improve the team and uh, give that team a lift. What was, what was last night like to be involved in? Obviously, another Premier League team that we've beaten. It's a fantastic feeling, obviously, for, for now. And obviously, we're just waiting for the semi final to see who we're playing. Does it, Brentford, Carabao Cup semi final? It, it still seems quite nice to say. <laughs> yeah, it does. I've said it at home quite many times yesterday to my mum and girlfriend, obviously. But uh, yeah, it's a massive thing. And obviously, the performance yesterday was fantastic from everyone who played. And uh, yeah, it's been showing in the training ground every, every session we we're on it. and. The togetherness in this group is massive. And that's touching on that there. That, that's something Thomas says. You, you can't keep your eye off the ball. The, the next training session today, tomorrow, has to be the most important thing going forward. Yes, exactly. That's the, that, this is just uh, another game, basically, if you want to think of it. And then the, the bigger games are ahead. Obviously, take game by game. And the, the points and obviously the, the places in the Carabao Cup will, will take care of themselves if we perform. You touched on it, being, being part of the group. How was the first, we're almost at halfway now, how's the first half of the season been? Yeah, it's had its ups and downs, but obviously, while well, we are now 14 unbeaten, it's massive, obviously. And I think we've started to grow together as, as a team. Obviously, the, f the first few games, obviously, everyone finding their feet and uh, playing together like uh, with a new team and new signings. But obviously, now it's starting to show what a good team we are. And what's what obviously Ivan Tony's coming, what's Ivan been like, A, as competition for that starting place, but also as, as a teammate that you can learn from? Yeah, of course. Like we, we, he's a striker. Obviously, he's played more than me, and obviously, he's a, he's done very well. But obviously, I've I've learned a lot of him, and he learned a lot of a lot of me. Like we just bounce off ideas because we play the same position, and you see something in the game, you can might say to him, and he sees what I'm doing in the game, and obviously, it's just improving each other. And and at the end of the day, it's just for the team to do well. And for for everyone around the world, 2020's had its ups and its downs, as you say, but. For you, maybe as many as anyone having the in, doing so well at AFC Wimbledon, then the injury, then coming back, and now the, the the first half of the season you've had here. Yeah, of course, it's a uh, difficult was to pick up an injury. Uh, this is such a long injury, seven months. But obviously, in that time, you just ha have to keep positive and think how you, you, what can you do in the gym or off the pitch to make yourself a better player when you come back. And I think I've done that very well with the with the staff here that we evaluated what to do. To get better when I come back and obviously come back as a stronger, fitter and a better player. Talk about maybe doing some stuff when you were injured off the pitch, what, what sort of stuff were you looking at to improve your game on the pitch? Obviously because I'm a still young player I need to improve physically and obviously we've done that with the, the coaching staff here and obviously just looking at the game, all the games and seeing your positions, what you might do when the ball's here, like what watching Oli last, last season when I was injured it was massive for me, just learning how he plays and stuff. And, Obviously now, when you come back, it's easier to slot in. And we've, we've touched on the game already, but the games keep on coming. Cardiff on Boxing Day, then Bournemouth, then, then Bristol City, and, and then uh, a semi-final. 
Yeah, uh, it's, uh, obviously the games are coming thick and fast, so it's uh, not the one training tomorrow. We just come down and then uh, think about Cardiff, obviously. But yeah, has 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 the intense fixture schedule? Has it been good for the younger players in the group? Because th there have been potentially more minutes than there would have been if we were playing Saturday, Saturday, Saturday the, the whole way through. Yeah, I think so. There's been more minutes, but I think also that all like as me and all the young players have been, like shown in the Carabao Cup that we can perform, and any time you they want to throw us in, that we they can trust us and we we can perform. And obviously they've seen that in the in the games we played and stuff like that, and which is good to see from their point of view as well.